in the first time the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the outer rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Bigara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajek. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a vaguer warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon the Gathi. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Vigara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. And welcome to my Half-Life, uh, no, half, not Half-Life, Homeworld 2 um, LP. Uh, this is a particularly interesting game, but um, surprisingly not a lot of people have played it, so uh, it should be rather control. interesting. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Yeah, it's just, um, they're transferring the core. I, I, I always thought that the transition from the animated to the, uh, they're just doing te technical talk. I hope no one cares. Um, this is a really interesting game. It's actually a 3D space RTS. So, but, you know, the 3D aspect, I'll get, I'll get more into that, but, um, I'm going to do this one, and you guys tell me what you think of it. I'm going to just do two segments today, and next week I'm going to do three segments a day. Uh, so you guys tell me what you think of this. Uh, if you guys want me to continue it, whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get started with this. The mothership recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. I've always liked this game, but surprisingly, yeah, not all people have heard of it. I don't know why. So it should be it should be a relatively interesting game to watch. Fleet command online. At the very least, so. Mothership status report. Engineering online. Stand by to initiate main engine sequence. They keep talking. Main engines online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. I don't know why we're still watching Navigation this, but whatever. Online. It's just like, you know, showing off the cool engine, I guess. The mothership is standing by. Do do do. Okay, let's get this game started with. This is like the tutorial mission, so. Copy. Resources locked in. Okay, just make him. He's harvesting right now. He's a resource collector. Intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership. We must conduct a series of trials.
to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. I've already done this. <laughs> Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Okay. Resourcing systems fully operational. Yeah, there we go. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Okay, um, so to make this game a little production bit more cinematic, underway. it is actually HD, but the game wasn't meant for this, so it's kind of stretched, though the, the menu is stretched. So most of the time I'm just going to have it off like that. All this really tells me is the ships I have selected, the movement stuff. If I put it down here, it, you get more of a view of stuff, so... Um, yeah, that this is how mostly I'm going to be playing the game, because this is the most kind of cinematic and fun to watch. I can also have the cues over here. If I click it, it'll tell me stuff. So, I'm right now building a subsystem for fighters. Uh, what that is, is basically, it's just going to allow me to build uh, fighters on the mothership. It's it's just it's just like a little I don't know. Consider it consider it like building a like a, a a structure in like any other kind of RTS, except it's attached to a ship. Complete. That's how it works. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Yeah, it's right there. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. Okay, the first ship you can build is production interceptors. I'm making like three of them because you'll need them. Probably could make a little bit more. Production underway. There you go. Four, four should be more than enough. But uh, interceptors generally suck. No, actually, I'll just make three. Interceptors suck in this game, kind of. They're 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 fighter versus fighter kind of things. Well, that sounds great and all. Um, you don't really need fighter versus fighter stuff. You're gonna have plenty of that later, and they're not really the problem in this game. So, I'm making them just for the beginning, for because for the for first two missions, they're they're useful. But after that, eh, not really. Interceptor squadron complete. And now I get to actually kill stuff. Interceptors are cool. Combat trials. Perimeter station Chimera will assist by providing target drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. That menu you keep seeing pop up is actually the, um, whoops. Let's go watch them kill stuff. No. Group one designated. Okay. Um, it, this is actually the sensors manual. It's like a like a mini map. Consider it. Interceptor squadron complete. So let's go watch them kill stuff because this is fun. You get some really cinematic views like this. This is what I'm gonna be doing most of the game. There is some slow points in the game. Like there's like um, I might have to build up and some other crap. But generally, um, it should be relatively interesting to watch the entire time. You can just watch like little fighters, and they look like little like like flies like going around. It's kind of cool when you get a lot of them. So I'll be doing like a lot of this stuff. It's gonna look a lot like this. So it's kind of cool. The, the, the story is also real nice. You guys will enjoy that at the very least. Attention, Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates bigger bomber strike force. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base. This is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in. Awaiting orders. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vega bombers. So now we get our first little taste of uh, how, how combat looks in this game. 
And did I mention the music is really cool in this game? I always like the music in this. So you got interceptors. Bom uh, they're gonna kick their ass, don't worry. This is not a problem. Bombers are only good against, like, big stuff. And not definitely not against my mothership, so... And they're boned. Copy. Group one. This is really cool to watch. Group one copies. Group one reports victory. Chimera Station is offline. The Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Ship under attack. Release crew and stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tana. This game looks real nice, too. I graphically wise. Primary couple of release. I love it. She's looking good. Green line confirmed. The mothership has cleared tanks. We are away. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact, two minutes. Begin construction of bombers immediately to deal with this new threat. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Oh really? Okay. Mothership. Bombers. Bombers are amazing in this game. They're just crazy. Group one copy. Well, they're like not like the best friggin' thing ever, but Mothership. Target locked. Group Whatever. Um Yeah. This this is actually a really cool game, so this is definitely what we're gonna be doing. I don't know, unless you guys think otherwise. Group one. And attack vector laid Make them attack the this thing. Probably should remove that. Anyways, um, there is unit caps in this game. I can only get so many of every unit, so um, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Well, it's not. I, I've already beaten this game once by myself. Construction options available. Ready. So. Moving to intercept. You guys are gonna be group, group two. Group two designated. Group one copies. Group two copies. So we're just killing this guy now. He's only focusing on the mothership, mothership, which has plenty of health to deal with us, so don't worry too much about him. Mothership fighter facility under attack. Oh, he's attacking my two copies. You piece of crap. Mothership. Don't you dare touch my fighter facility. Because they can target subsystems, so then I can't make any more fighters and stuff, but you know. Um, when I said the game is hard, it's mostly hard. Uh, well, no, did I say the game was hard? Maybe I didn't. But it's. Hard mostly in the sense that if you don't know what you're doing. So I didn't know what I was doing the first time I played through this, so I was like lost the entire time. But um, oh, hyperspace gate. Attack coordinates Screw you. alert. Attack coordinates locked in. Vega are using hyperspace gates. If they are not destroyed, the enemy can deploy reinforcements through them. Yeah, we have F2. Be destroyed. I'm killing them. Unfortunately, they have lots of reinforcements. That's a little bit more than I could probably handle. <laughs> die, hyperspace gate, die. And we got one. Gate destroyed. Roger. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. I, I could probably actually. I'm gonna make my interceptors go after the bombers because that's how they're more effective. And um, bomber squadron complete. Group two reporting. The bombers will continue to bombard the hyperspace gates because it's it's all about effectiveness in this game. Group two like sending the right kinds of units against the right kind of forces, or like having a big mambo force and killing everything. So I don't know how long this game is gonna be. It's probably gonna be fairly long. Because there's a lot to it. Now let's go watch some fighter action. 
go watch these guys. You can also assign like strike groups and stuff like this. Um, there's a reason I'm not. I know this is Homeworld 2. There's a reason I'm not doing the first game, and that's mostly because the first game is really kind of slow. Because there's a lot of like cat, like there's a lot of things that you have to be doing, kind of a thing, like like capturing frigates and stuff. In this one, they've kind of simplified it. Um, a lot of purists don't like the second one, but um, I, don't know, I, I I like this one. It's it's kind of cool. Hope you guys are enjoying it. You got a lot of cool angles. These are my bombers, so. Apparently I'm out of money, so whatever. Probably shouldn't have made so many in interceptors. By. How many interceptors do I have? Um, three groups. Oh no, no, that's that's the last one. Group two reporting. Kick their asses. Moving right along. They're taking sure. They're sure taking a while. Bombers aren't effective against fighters, but they still do the job, given the chance. This is supposed to be an easy mission, so whatever. But um, the way the difficulty is scaled in this game, it's based upon how big your forces are, so as I build up, the game will become harder. That's how it works. So there, and people, a lot of people just don't finish this game because it's just really hard. But um, I finished it once, so I know what to expect, so I shouldn't be having any problems or quitting or anything. Sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on campus. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, they're all docking. What up? So this will obviously kick my ass, so we're gonna run. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. Course set for the home world. The mothership must survive. And we flee! Hooray! Don't worry, we'll, we'll send them running sooner, very soon. Don't worry. Canis base has been destroyed. The Vega have launched a massive invasion. Higaran outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure, and planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. Contact. All right. The mothership is on its way. We're going to make it. Bishop one to all transports. Report status. Bishop two standing by. This is Bishop three. We've taken some hits. Two ball gets down. We'll be all right. Bishop 4, standing by. Bishop 5, standing by. Bishop 6, reporting unidentified contacts. Get ready for company. And here we're hyperspace again. A very nice bright sun. I'm going to turn off those little icons. Hyperspace jump successful. The core is operating at full capacity. Mothership, we made it. We have reached the Higaran system. Vega forces are being reported in all sectors. They will know we have arrived. Six crew transports are inbound to dock with the mothership. 
Vega carrier has been detected in the area. The transports are under attack and require immediate assistance. At least four transports must dock with the mothership to meet minimum crew requirements. So it's time for me to save a bunch of uh, crew transports, which is could only be thrilling. Um, gonna make a resource collector. And construction of additional resource collectors to increase harvesting efficiency. I don't really need to do that right now, and I don't really need to do that at all later because um, the way the game works is in the first home world, um, if you wanted to. Um, get like lots of money um, It literally like it, you had the choice to end the mission But there's like a whole shitload of money everywhere, right? And so if you went uh, on the to the next mission without actually um, harvesting everything uh, You would just forfeit all of that So what the, this game does is when you end the mission you harvest everything anyways So now you don't even need to so they went from uh, you need to like absolutely necessary to stay in harvest to No, now you can do whatever the fuck you want so uh, this segment's about to come to an end, so um, we'll finish this up tomorrow. Uh, and tell, oh, no, next week, sorry. And uh, tell me, what, uh, tell me, you guys, what you think of this game so far. So uh, that's it. Later, guys. So we're back, and um, I guess our ships are fighting and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna save all this stuff because I said I would. Okay. Um, two reports victory. So right now we're. Group one, copy. Group one. So we're gonna go make it attack that one. Transport bishop one. And these guys are gonna go after the carrier because I know the carrier is gonna attack anyways. Subsystem target acquired. I'm gonna take out its um uh, fighter um facility because that's what lets it make fighters. So it's gonna stop making reinforcements. Group one, copy. Um, group two, report. They can rebuild it, but in this particular mission, it doesn't because you're supposed to take it out, and they just don't remake it. Group one, reporting. Alright, so these guys can keep doing whatever the hell they want. And it's gonna trigger a cutscene pretty soon. I also raised the volume a little bit, because uh, I know this is a little bit quiet. It doesn't talk very much, anyways. The Vega carrier is launching reinforcements. Yeah, I know. Use bombers to destroy the carrier's fighter facility. Bomber this oh, will already have from sending further reinforcements. <laughs> All right. Group one reporting. Interceptor squadron under attack. Group two standing by. I'm taking hits here. Interceptor squadron under attack. Yeah, these assault bomber uh, squadron are under attack. Tear my guys apart. Interceptor squadron under attack. I'm hit. Fortunately, they're not actually Group doing one anything. Standing by. Mothership. Group two copies. Okay. So one of the carriers have almost reached my thing, my mothership. Sorry. Bomber squadron complete. Come on, finish it off. Come on, it's almost dead. Your fighter facility destroyed. Okay. The carrier can no longer build reinforcements. And Group One defeated the enemy, so now we're just eliminated. Transport Bishop Two is safe. They're gonna go after that one. Group two reporting. And I'm gonna add another bomber reporting. squadron. Group two reinforced. Locked on target. I the last um I technically only need to save four of these guys, but the reason I'm saving them all is Group because transport docked. you get elite fighter uh, subsystem groups and engineering personnel transferring. If you save them all, the so. mothership now has additional construction capabilities. Corvette facility available for construction. Yeah, I'm gonna make that like now. Production underway. Because that's real nice. Corvettes are basically um, better fighters. They're better armored. Um, I'm gonna make uh, multi-gun Corvettes, which is basically good against um, uh, fighters, but they're like good overall kind of a thing. So they're they're better than interceptors in that in that aspect. So. Because I'm gonna fill up all the fighter slots with bombers, anyways. So I figure, what the hell? Standing by. How many bomber squadrons do I have left? Um, I have a bunch. I don't know if I should make them go return for heals. Standing by. 
At least he will. The way it works is they have actually five fighters, but Order. as they get diminished, um, they Good lose morning. fighters. Kind of thing, if you understand what I'm saying. Group two. So, basically, what I'm doing is uh, threat eliminated. Yeah, there we go. Transport Bishop three is safe. That's no, not. Okay, now I'm gonna send him after these guys. Acknowledged. Group two. Let's need to bombers to finish. Two. Hyperspace signature detected. Okay. The Vaker are using frigates. I'm to making them run away. Transports. Some appear to be equipped with heavy anti-fighter weaponry. And that's your cue to not attack them anymore. Group 1 copy. Except for the ones that are like over there. But that's Group why my bombers are running by. away. They're kind of important. Don't worry, I know what's going to happen. It's not dead. Group 1. Alright. Who's going to go? Oh, nose! My fighters are supposedly being chopped up and killed and stuff. Whatever will I do? Group 1. Group 1 reporting. Hurry up. Uh, Receiving transmission there from we go. the Garen Defense Fleet. Allied forces are arriving. There we go. And I love the hyperspace. It's so awesome. Pride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you can use a hand. We use leg. Attention all Sobani. Pick your targets and engage. Okay. And now they should be able to save um, the, the, tr the transport for me. With the help of Captain Soban, we should be able to save the rest of the transport. Yeah, there you go. Crew transport docked. And research staff and science teams transferring. And I can do research options available. I have a bunch of options here. Uh, for now, transport Bishop Four sustaining critical damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save interceptors it. immediately to defend Bishop 4. They're coming, they're coming. Um, so now you can Threat do upgrades. Eliminated. Transport Bishop 5 is safe. Yeah, whatever. Uh, now you can do upgrades like uh, level 1 bomber speed, which is like, you know, speed. And whatever else. Oh, Group I'm sending the bombers actually back Threat out. Eliminated. Transport Bishop 4 is safe. I'm targeting his engines. Group one reporting. And crew transport these dock. guys are gonna go get sensor crews right. transferring. I'm I'm getting rid of these guys. Sensor systems are now operating at full capacity. Oh, we got full sensors. These things are cool. Mothership. Um, I'm right now. I'm retiring all the um, interceptors because this is the last time I really need them. These guys will be fine on their own. The Vega frigates have been destroyed. Okay. And now my group bombers are coming by. in to kill the bomber squadron under attack. He's trying to run away. It's pausing. The Vega carrier is retreating. It must be destroyed before it can escape. Yeah, it's okay. Group two standing by. Pick out its engines. I'm hit. Bomber squadron complete. Yeah, then we have like lots of money. Uh, I'm not gonna bother too much with. Well, I guess I'll do level one bomber. No reason not to, I guess. But the rest I'll wait until I'm unloaded on cash. Because uh, I'm still making a whole bunch of stuff. What's my limits right now? I'm at 7 out of 14 fighter squadrons. New upgrades available. Corvette subsystem Corvette facility complete. Gunship, gunship have Corvettes are now available for construction. Okay, gunship. That's not These what I'm getting. These ships are effective when used against fighter class vessels. Am I? Oh yeah, I am getting gunships. That's right. Um, can't afford a whole lot of them right now though. 
Okay, there you go. He's dead. Coming into dark. 